Well, folks, looks like Statgear took my critical review of their Bitsblade well, and instead of cursing me, they send another knife for review. So this, as you can tell, is the ledge. And you know what? This is actually an appropriate warning. Blade is extremely sharp. I appreciate that it actually is, because so many times... Knife makers just completely overstate and abuse terms like razor sharp for something that barely cuts paper. This, on the other hand, I'll just cut to the chase, if you'll excuse the edgy pun, and I'll show you right away. So there is a bit of arm fuzz. Pops right off. This thing is seriously sharp very easily shaves hair. This is a knife that you should be able to carry and use anywhere. I mean, really anywhere, even the UK, with all the rigid laws and everything. It's got a fairly short blade. The blade is two and a half inches long, or in accurate units, 6.7 centimeters. <laughs> Which somebody get buttered over the imperial measurement joke. Maybe my humor is just too edgy. It's a slip joint, non-locking blade. So that should make it legal in a lot of places that restrict these things. And it's got a very strong detent. Um, I don't know, you can probably tell. So if I just gently push it closed, at some point you'll see it snaps shut. And also, I'll just gently push. There we go. So. Nice and strong. However, despite the strong detent, I have one safety concern here. On most knives, you have a plunge grind or troil or ricasso or something like that. This one here goes all the way down with a uh, sharpened edge. And that may seem like a good thing at first glance because, oh, well, that means you get more edge. But in case of a slip joint, if this actually does close on you, you can, I mean, you can see the edge is going to make contact there. Whereas on the Spyderco here, for example, I can actually push this down and the troil will just make contact with my finger instead of getting caught. Also, when resharpening, it might be difficult to reach the edge all the way down there because you might be bumping into parts of the, the stone or ceramic rod or whatever you're using for sharpening. Although it looks like you could actually remove the blade and then sharpen it outside of the handle. So, and either way, all that being said, I can definitely understand uh, wanting to use as much of the blade for the edge as possible because it is fairly short. So it is nice to have more cutting edge. The blade is made of D2 steel, which is well known for its high quality, and tempered to hardness of 59 to 61 on the Rockwell C scale. So nice and hard, should be a very durable edge. The handle scales are made of G10. You've got two layers. Uh, on this one, this is black on black. There is a much nicer looking version that has red underneath the black, and there's also a brown and black version. The handle scales are textured, and the lines also add some traction. It's overall a very comfortable handle in the hand. I like the generous finger troil here, and it's enough for three fingers to wrap around. It is fairly short, but you do get quite a good grip on it. The corners on this are only slightly beveled, just enough to be comfortable. But on this design, it makes sense to have a fairly strong angle here because that gives you a better grip, which is important on a small knife like this. You can see the steel liners there. Overall, seems like a very solid construction and properly fitted. If you look at the centering of the blade, looks very good. In fact, I'd call this perfectly centered. And I really like this groove here in the blade. You can either take a hold of it there and open it that way, or you can grab it here, either on the flat of the blade or 
put your nail in the groove. It's really easy to open. As you can see, you can close it with one hand, as long as you make sure that your fingers are out of the way, obviously. The pocket clip is the right kind of stiffness, in my opinion, and it's nice and long, but not uncomfortable. You know, some pocket clips don't really feel very good when you wrap your fingers around the knife, but this one here, no problem at all. So that's all good. Overall, ergonomics are excellent on this. Cannot complain about that at all. And the sheep's foot design here. This, again, is going to be good in, in places that are fairly restrictive when it comes to knives. You know, sometimes police officers do look at the design to figure out, okay, is this, you know, something that dubious individuals carry with nefarious purposes or is this just a tool and something like this that doesn't have a pronounced point is more likely to be considered just a tool knife and overall this is very non-threatening especially if you take the you know the, the brown and black version it would be nice if there was maybe like a neon green for visibility or something like that but uh, as it is, it does not have a tactical look about it and shouldn't freak people out, even those who are paranoid about sharp things. I've already shown you the hair shaving, but let's also do the customary phone book paper slice, which is, oh, smooth. There's no slicing action needed here. So I just pull it straight through and it makes a really nice clean cut. That's what I like to see. This is a really good grind. Oh yeah, excellent. Here's two layers of leather. Oh yeah. Cuts through two layers of leather, no problem. I could even just hold it like this and it will start cutting into it. So I'm quite pleased by this. It's a very functional blade, very well put together, comfortable in the hand. And what, what more do you want? Affordable too. It's uh, currently listed for $35 on the website, which is 35 US dollars, I think. And yeah, this, this works. And there's really nothing I can complain about. Aside from this little safety nitpick here, you do have to be careful with this to not close that on your fingers, but otherwise, nothing wrong at all. You know, as far as slip joints go, this is a very solid, effective, practical design made of quality materials, good price and all that. So yeah, this one is easy to recommend. So I'll leave the link down below where you can find it and let me know what you think. Hope you found the review helpful. Thanks for watching. And I'll close this with another terrible pun. Stay sharp. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.